Hey queens and kings, welcome back and thank you guys so much for watching. As you all can tell from the title, today we will be doing a living room refresh. Here I'm just basically giving you all a before look of what the living room looked like before just to refresh your memory. <laughs> just to give you guys an idea of where we came from and where we definitely going. Now, I love the way my living room looked, but it was something about it that it was just not spacious enough. It was it seemed like everything was just in one location. So, I decided to swap some things around. As you guys can see, I removed the TV off the far wall there on the left and decided to put the ottoman on that side. So, I didn't do too much changes, but the little changes that I did do made a big impact. So, it just opened the room up a little bit more and gave me more room to work with in my head in my opinion so i'm going to be making some more other changes as you all can see i have tucked the canvas off the wall there which you guys know i have placed it in the dining room if you guys have not seen the dining room refresh i will leave that in the i card above or you all can check it out at the end of the video okay so now i'm about to go ahead and start um forming my gallery wall which you guys know like i said before i'm just swapping things around just to give my home a refresh like i'm doing give it a different look a different vibe so that's basically what i'm gonna go with here but i'm starting off with this bigger piece here something a little bit different that i didn't have in the dining room or the queen lounge which is this champagne chanel um bottle of flute here i said flute right but y'all know what I'm saying, champagne baller. Um, I think I purchased this from Overstock. I had it probably about since I moved into this apartment. And that's been about three years now. But yeah, I'm going to just start running my mouth and let you guys enjoy this gallery wall. And you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. Welcome, new queens and kings. I know I forgot to mention you all, but welcome. I see you all. Thank you. I truly appreciate each and every one of you queens and kings. Voila, magic. <laughs> so obviously this is the first gallery wall that I came up with because the beginning of this video, you all seen something totally different. Um, I was liking it, I was feeling it, but it just still wasn't enough for me, I guess because this is the sofa that's on this wall. And then when I did the previous um, gallery wall in the Queen Lounge, it was the love seat. So it balanced out perfect. But for some reason, it's not balancing out the me, which that's basically what I was pointing out, showing you guys. I think I'm going to add something else. I'm going to change it up. I'm just have to go back and just do this thing over, obviously, because I'm not liking it. I like it, but I don't like it. It just still wasn't saying Queen Val is here. It wasn't saying it. It just, it just wasn't given. You know, it wasn't given. So I took the mirror down off this wall here. Now I'm playing around with the canvas on this wall here. I don't want the same look, but it seemed, how, it seemed like I'm getting the same look that I had over there. So I'm trying to swap it out a little bit more. We'll put something a little bit different, but I also added two more extra prints. And if you guys really know, you can tell me who these are. Leave it down in the comment section. <laughs> so um, I'm putting those up here somewhere so I gotta remove this stuff down which I should have did it on the floor before I decided to put it up here but I didn't so now I gotta repeal them off very carefully so therefore I don't take too much of the adhesive off the back of because I'm looks the command script so expensive so I'm doing that today how are you guys doing I know I just jumped into this video but that's pretty much what I'm doing so I just want to come on and just basically tell you guys pretty much what I'm doing today. 
explain a little bit, you know, giving the living room a refresh, just a little tad, little bit refresh, not much. Um, what else? Oh, this wall here. I'm actually gonna do something on this wall here. I'll show you guys. I don't know if it's be tomorrow or the day after. I have to see how I feel about doing this and how this turn out. Cause I'm gonna play around with it first before I can actually just say, okay, that's the final look. Like I did over there with the entryways. See, I don't tuck the, well, you should, child. All over the place. Well, you see, I don't tuck this from the entrance way in which was, oh, slow down there, I almost speed oh, off, which was over there, so. I knew I wasn't gonna let it stay, but this girl, this just does something for me when I do things like this around my home. Obviously, queens and kings, that was just a little bit behind the scene of what I was doing, because obviously, you all see that I am doing several outfit changes in this video. That's because I pre-recorded this video over time at the time as me doing other videos for you guys like vlogging my life. <laughs> but anyway, so I finally made it to Ikea and got this L-shaped table that I've been trying to get for the longest that was out of stock. But they slowed to getting back in stock with a lot of their items, which I was very happy to get the notification that this was in. So I'm basically going ahead and assemble this and get it all together and then i'm gonna take it outside and spray paint it silver and do a little quick little hack on it so if you guys want to see the affordable hack stay tuned All right, so this is it, I hope complete. And like I said, I'm gonna take this thing outside, which I'll be doing that off camera. I just used some silver with stolen spray paint that you all have seen that I used several times in all my videos from Walmart for $3.89, $3.98, however it is, I don't know. <laughs> but yes, it was no more than $5. But this is the table, um, I spray painted, like I said. I like this um, metallic that it give of spray paint, the silver and i'm pretty much just gonna do this little quick hack with it so i'm putting on the glass top that it came with and then i'm gonna add a mirror which this mirror is from hmm i think i'm explaining more in the, in the video from michael's as you guys see it's a rectangle velvet mirror affordable i think it was no more like eight dollars for this mirror and i'm just gonna place that on the so they make it a mirror top easy hack affordable not breaking the bank give yourself some mirrors if you don't want no mirrors you can just keep it glam or you can actually get the spray paint and spray paint the glass to turn it into a mirror it's all up to you it's up to you but this is how she looks so after this i'm pretty much just going to go ahead and style it right quick so therefore we can just jump right into the rest of this living room refresh So obviously my gallery wall still wasn't enough. I'm just going with a massive one this time. The first one that I did was small, the tinchy winchy, but it fit the area. So this time I want this one to be bigger. So I decided to print off some images from I think Pinterest that I got these from and just use some Dollar Tree 8x10 little dollar picture frame, cheap and affordable, little modern look to basically place these in. And then we're gonna place these up on the wall. Give me a piece of 
I'm hoping for some brighter days Cause I'm falling in the snow, it's getting me deep You make some kind of fire within me It's almost like it's burning through my skin Make myself feel warmer when you're near Whenever you're near All right, queens and kings. So here is the refresh of the living room, and I must say that I love it. I think I love everything that I do. I really do. Some of you guys do too as well. If you don't, it's okay. It's okay. Everyone don't have the same taste, and everyone not meant to. But okay, some of the changes that I did make, you guys seen that it was the living room first. I decided to make it open, which by removing the TV that was on this wall here and basically moving it on the wall that's behind me uh, well on the side of me and taking the ottoman and placing it over there so i feel like it made the living room a little bit wider a little bit bigger it gave us more room to maneuver around and everything like that in which i love it because it bring in more of a comfort vibe or more of a family vibe you get what i'm saying we all can sit down and watch tv and don't be bunched up on top of each other in my opinion so if you guys did guess the coffee table styling that i decided to go with which was the last one with i like this look because of the simple fact that it have more of the style that i wanted to keep which was with the round but it gave me a different look when it came down to the books other than the books laying on the table I decided to stand them up which gives us a more of a conversation piece other than the books itself so i like that um I get a lot of you all ask me about my coffee table. My coffee table is at least about four years old, so you may see cracks and stuff like that on it, but I still love it. But it's from Target.com. I don't know if you guys remember years ago, Target used to have a lot of mirror furniture. Um, I got another piece from Target, which is my console table that I made my DIY fireplace with, which I will show you guys in a moment. Um, but yes, this is where this coffee table from because I have a lot of you all ask and decided to keep me a little fur white rug down here just to open the space up since my furniture is a charcoal gray. A lot of you all think that it's brown or it's black or something, but it's a very dark gray. Pretty much that's all it is. Um, it's a two-piece sectional, I mean sectional set that I got from a local furniture store and I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, what I have on the coffee table here is my Tom Ford book. This book here is with the Chanel cover on it. It's just a Chanel cover. It's just a regular book. And then I have another Chanel book there. And then um, Toya book. Just to bring out more of the color and the decor, which as you guys can see, it is purple, black, white, and silver. In all the glam in the world. Now, my round tray here is actually a DIY tray that is I done on my DIY channel, as well as that candle holder there, that burning that candle. This Chanel little piece here I got from Poshmark. These matches here came from TJ Maxx, and these flower arrangement came from Michaels, I believe. That book there is from Amazon, and you see they represent the decor that's going on in the living room. Now, my candle, hold, candle holders are from eFavorite Mark, which is a company that I do collab with and affiliate with. But if I could find an affiliation link, because I have not really linked too much about them in a while, I would try to still link it down below. Okay? So, you guys can save some coins in case you want to just go in and search and stuff. You know, find some cute home decor, because you can buy home decor from anywhere. Now, on my sofa and love seat... I have the same set of pillows, which are actually pillow covers. Those are from Amazon. The black ones, the purple ones, I love so much. Anything from Amazon you can find in my Amazon store, which I will link down below. That's anything throughout my home. You can find it. If you don't even see it in this video, in this tour here, you still can find something that I have around my house there that you may actually like or something want for yourself. Now, this silver one here is actually DIY. Once again, you can find it on my DIY DIY channel, which is Valerie Glamorous Castle DIY. You can find it over there. But I actually made this with a placemat. Believe it or not, I made it with a placemat. A sparkly placemat. The best time to find them is around the holiday time. 
and holiday time coming up so all the sister cousin stores is gonna have them now for my throw here is actually not a throw it's actually a comforter a twin size comforter cheap easy and affordable way to bring some type of blanket or throw into your living room some kind of way but i had it for years jasmine used to have it as she was a little girl because her room was purple of course but instead of me throwing away get rid of i couldn't because it's my color shade of purple more of like a um plum i love it so and it matches so well with the pillows as you all can see now the statement piece pretty much is the gallery wall but by this apartment how the way it's set up and how i have it styled you basically don't see the statement piece of the living room until you physically come up in the living room area, which I totally, totally love. You guys know that I had more, pretty much of this gallery wall in my queen lounge, which I changed back to as my dining room. So that's one thing I like about this apartment. It gives me options to swap around if I wanted to be a dining room, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, we're talking about the living room refresh. Y'all hear that thunder? Yes, honey, it is pouring down outside so i decided to make this video with you all but i wonder did you guys actually guess who are the famous icons on the wall I, i'm quite sure you all did but um i decided to go with dorothy and diana is because of the simple fact i just wanted some black icons pretty much on the wall to give me something different because you know we always see Marilyn monroe which i am true of one of the people who always used to have Malama Road and everybody else, but I decided to put some black icons on here, you know, step a little too into my soul. <laughs> but um, my gallery wall basically speaks me, represent me. Um, I love the woman that's sitting up in the window, just like she just enjoying the fresh air and just taking a breeze in. Um, the lady standing over there with the wine and the book and child, and she's just having her a good moment there, you know? But yeah, then we got some shopping going on here. Then uh, the product sign is a DIY mines. These sconces here are a DIY of mines. The Dior, Chanel, Vogue. Yes, all that is a DIY of mine. Now, where you can find these prints at, I'm not affiliated with them. You could go on, what's the site name? Uh, Poster Store in Decenio. Those are where you can actually find those posters at. Now, I handpicked which one I wanted, but I will tell you, it is a little pricey for these little posters. But they really number but card stock, pretty much. So you could print them off like I did with the Vogue sign and stuff like that and Diana and Dorothy. You could just print it on off and just call it a day if you got a color printer. Now, for the new pieces that's in the room, it's these mirrors here. You guys know I wanted to put three, but... Uh, it's not worth of me buying three right now because it's some changes gonna be made. This wall supposed to be painted black because of the changes gonna be made. That's the reason why I didn't paint the wall black at all. But I still love the way how it looked. And I think if I did would have painted it black, I was really kind of afraid it was gonna make the room so dark, make this area so dark. You already know I got dark furniture, so I'm kind of glad that I just left it white pretty much. Now my Lamps as well as lamp tables, side tables, those. My lamps are from Home Goods. Y'all hear that ring? <laughs> my lamps are from Home Goods. Home Goods or Tuesday morning, something like that. I had them for a while now. I know I don't have them for a while. Or maybe Burlington. Not sure. But each side of the sofa here I have these tables that I purchased from um, Ikea, you guys seen, and I spray painted them and I put these mirrors on here, which these mirrors are from Michaels. And I think these mirrors are like $8 for each one. And I just happened to buy them and to see what wanted to see where they fit. And they actually fit perfect for me, they fit perfect. Now my mirror tissue box holder here is from Amazon as well. Then I have some cute little coasters over here that I got from, who I had it from? Tools, I wanna say Tools One, but it's not Tools One, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx. These Chanel coasters and those there are some DIYs of mine that I did make myself. And this here just basically came out of one of my daughter's beds and I just put it up. I actually supposed to paint it black because I have another one over here that I did like a little modern look with and I painted it black. So I have some coasters over here as well. But yeah, 
So moving on around to the TV. Say hi, Andre. Hi. <laughs> so here on the TV here, um, this is a DIY, my fireplace. I got this idea from Kels. Um, she's a YouTuber here. I will link her channel down below. You guys go over there and support her. Um, she came up with this idea in the hunting list. I had to do it. I just had to do it. It was a mirror. It was a fireplace. And it just gave a different vibe and look. So on each side of the fireplace, I have some candles holders that I DIY myself. Um, you can find those on my DIY channel and some, and some flowers from Ikea. This is the console table that I was telling you all about that came from Target. You can not find it on Wayfair because I know that's where Kels found. I think one or two of hers from is Wayfair. Then I just have a simple, very first flat screen TV I ever purchased. Jasmine is 15. I think this TV is... Will is 19. That's my oldest son. I want to say this TV probably about 19, 18 years old. Oh my God, and it's still going. It is a BZO. I promise you guys. I promise you. I know for sure that I had this TV since 2000 in... Three, I think. I want to say 2003. Something like that. I don't know. Something like that. But then I just have crystals up here and some bling, of course. Can you stop that, baby? So, this is the home, and I love it because it's purple. I could change the colors on it. Andre like to play with it a lot and put it blue because blue is his favorite color. So, he'll change it from time to time. Come with a remote control. But... This is the refresh, Queens and Kings. Oh, how did I forget about my chandelier, which is a DIY of mine. You also can find this on my DIY channel. I done made so many chandeliers to the hunt, to the point, honey, I think I'm out of, I'm burnt out of doing chandeliers. But this is the most easy and simple one to do with just the um, garland crystals. And I love it. I love it. I love it. And I wanted to do this here because you see there's no section for the put no ceiling light or nothing like that one thing about these apartments they don't have areas like that unless it's like in the bedrooms that is it so it didn't now come up in the living room area so i decided to make one to go in the living room area so this is it queens and kings i hope you all enjoy my living room refresh if you all did please like comment share and subscribe if you found some type of inspiration, share it. Please comment down below. Let me know. Share the video once again. Like it. So, therefore, you two can know that I'm here. Val over here lit. Val is popping. Val is funny. Val is relatable. All that good jazz stuff. I'm just saying. But, yeah, if you all did like it, Queens and Kings, please go ahead and do those little favors for me. I truly appreciate it because once we reach 5,000 subscribers, I am doing a cash app giveaway. All right, Queens and Kings. So, that is it. If you all like, do that for me. And I will talk to you, Queens and Kings, in the next video. Bye-bye. You guys continue to be what? Royal.